what up? Oh, shout. Hey, on YouTube, Silver Joker here. This is the second week of June. This will be my second week pickups. Um, so it's going to be uh, five ounces of uh, generic this time and three ounces of premium. Uh, spot price has been relatively good to my budget. Um, it's been pretty low, still in dip range as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I've been able to, uh, you know, really pad my stack and uh, my goal towards 300 ounces by the end of the year so things have been going pretty good so we'll get right to it so you guys know that i've been collecting this um bucks and bulls series from the north american legends north american hunting club and um this is five more of the um of uh five more silver rounds in the uh, series there's 24 in all so this is just five more different ones. I picked these up yesterday from a local corn seller. He's the one that has the entire series. And so I'm buying them from him. I'm getting them for $1.95 over spot. And every place that I've seen, every place that I've researched these, who's still offering them for sale, wants at least nine bucks, at the very least, $9 over spot. So I'm getting a hell of a deal. Now, will I get that back? don't know will I ever get that price for them really don't know I'm stacking these because I really like them and because they're bullion they're silver the only thing I do know is that they're gonna be worth spot the only thing I do know now like everybody else out there who stacks silver we're hoping that silver spot price is gonna go up and we'll be able to realize some profit on our investments here but the one pure thing the one pure thing in the logic of stacking silver, it's just going to be worth more than those dollars that are circulating. So you don't want to really put your investment too much into those dollars, into that paper, have something tangible. So this is a part of it, and they're beautiful rounds. So if you can enjoy investing, then hey, you know, I, I, I only see a win-win there. So okay, so these are, these are them, I got five of these. Now I'm not going to go into detail with these right now. You can see them, these are five different ones from the other uh, two videos that I made that I featured these. Um, and when I get the entire series, I'll go into detail and show you each one of these individually and we'll go into detail about it. But until then, I'll just show you they're part of my weekly pickup. So that's five of these. And so I bought this from Modern Corn Mart, had it on their website. And I gotta admit, now this is the uh, American Lion, 5,000 francs, uh, Republic of Chad um, coin, uh, one ounce silver coin. And um, it's a nice coin, but I gotta admit, it looked a lot better on the website uh, than it does in person. It's kind of flat, uh, very generic, if you uh, <laughs> excuse the pun, very generic looking. Um, I thought it had, I thought the detail was a little more, um, a little more detailed than what it is. But anyway, I'm happy with it. You know, it's a keeper, so that's uh, the premium round there. And I bought two of the Canadian Superman Maple Maple Privy, um, well, Canadian Mint um, coins. Now these don't have any milk spots at the moment. No fingerprints. This uh, air type that I put it in has got some issues. It's got some scratches on it. But I'll show you that all of what you see is on the air uh, These these came in flips. Had them out to flip, and if I can get this thing to to focus there which I'm probably not going to be able to but you guys are familiar with these so anyway I bought uh, two of those so those are my three premium and five uh, generic now I just want to say something about um, this generic silver now like I said I get these for $195 over spot now will I ever be able to make any money on these other than spot I don't know but I'll tell you if you're a new stacker just like I was a new stacker, like many of you were a new stacker. Um, I'm still fairly new, but I know a lot more now than I did when I first started. And the thing that I can, the advice that I can give you, 
and you do your own thing. You come to your own conclusions. You make your stack the way you want to. But the one advice that I will give you is you will be educated as you go along. Just don't don't stop on the, the first information that you find sounds good, which all of it does. I mean, there's some really good information out there on YouTube, but do your own uh, research, do your own study, and you make your stack the way you want your stack. Now, there's a lot of people on YouTube that will try to tell you, that will try to um, tell you that this is the best way to do it. And for them, it's absolutely 100% right. It is the best way for them. But the thing about it is you have to find your own way. Like I do a budget and I guarantee you my budgets are different than anybody else's budget. My stacking philosophy is different than a lot of other stacking philosophies. Now I've listened to a lot of philosophies. I've studied a lot of philosophies. I understand um, the perspective of a lot of the stackers out there. I really do. But what helps me is I come to my own conclusions about my stack. Now, my stack has a lot of generic in it. But I also have some premium coins in there so I can make my stack a little bit spot price proof. In other words, um, I have some premium in my stack that no matter where spot price goes, I can always ask for a premium on the coin. Now, asking and getting, you will find are two different things. So what you want to do is you want to try to get silver for the lowest price as you can get it. Uh, that way it'll be a lot easier to uh, get your money back once you decide to sell. But anyway, that's all the advice I want to give you. I saw a video today while I was watching YouTube and I figured I'd just uh, put that out there. Um, anyway, so I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I thank you for all the support that you've given me. And, uh, you know, let's just keep stacking, man. These are like some really iffy times. You know, I would I would have thought silver would have, would have fluctuated a little bit up uh, than where it was. But, you know, I'm no expert. So they say there's a lot of manipulation in the silver market. I really don't know. Uh, but anyway, all I know is where spot price is and what I can afford. And that's really all that's important for me right now. So anyway, thank you guys for watching again. I'll make this video short and I'll stop because you guys know how much I love to ramble. So, uh, you know, just keep stacking. Peace.